I've never seen Kathleen work live. So it's, it's proof I can't pay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't have a doubt she couldn't pay. It's just um, thrilling to see her do it. Hey everyone, I'm Don Stewart, the artist at artistchronicle.com. I have these two paintings on display at the Center for Visual Artists in Greensboro, North Carolina. They are part of an exhibition called Eat Me, and the featured artist is Kathleen Kennedy. This evening she's doing a live painting session, and she answers a few questions about her work. I'm painting some peaches, and I think they're white peaches. Oh, okay. They have a really interesting flesh, and I drizzled honey all over them. So you have a photograph and you have the yes. real thing? Yes. I took that earlier. So that's yes. a different or the same? It's the same. That way I, I, I cement the drawing through the photograph, but I like to work from life. To get the colors right and everything. Yeah, and it's just a lot more interesting. What's your process? I, I didn't see the beginning of the process. Well, I try never to do everything the same, but because tonight I wanted, I'm only painting for three hours, I worked on the drawing mainly. Okay. And so right now I'm just laying down colors and we'll see what happens. I'm not trying to force myself on the image. I'm just kind of playing with it and enjoying people and just working with it. Do you work with oil? Yes. The medium is... Yeah, right now I'm just using um, some linseed. I haven't even got into some turpentine. I'm just... I've got some stand oil. Mm -hmm. Just making things kind of goopy. I like to use these Chobani cups and <laughs> when I'm mixing large amounts of paint, I, I, I like this because it keeps a saturated amount. But, you know, it doesn't get all muddy. Uh, do you have a favorite kind of brush you like to use? No, I'm really bad about using really cheap brushes. Oh, is that right? I don't clean them. That's my next goal is to get so good that I can afford an assistant who can wash my brushes. And I think together we'll take over the world. <laughs> yeah. And until then, you're going to... Buy cheap, brushes. buy cheap brushes and throw them and away. And my poor husband over there, he takes pity on me and will help me clean my brushes okay. when he sees them get really bad. What's your inspiration? Because all of your work is... Food? Yeah. I love food. There's, I feel like I could paint food my whole life. I do. Okay. There's just a lot there to explore. I love surfaces, so um, I'm attracted to the shapes and the colors mm. in a formless nature first off, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's a lot of, like peaches, there's a lot of context, I think, that comes with peaches. And especially when you drizzle honey all over it, you start to get to some interesting territory that I, can, I like to have fun with it. And some of these paintings are huge. This one is six feet high. This self-portrait as asparagus is nearly eight feet high. How far along are you on this? I started at 6. It's almost 8.30. Wow. I have like a half hour left. You know, I think I might come back tomorrow and work on it a little more. I like this. Oh, looking at the peach and then painting. That's cool. Yeah. For color? you looking for color or? Uh, there are some rhythms going on here that I want to be able to capture. It's at this point where I start to get really excited.